trendsetters. You've got Tim here from Huntsman Brewing. Special guest here today, Chris from House Park Brewing. And we've got uh, some beers that have been sent to me from um, South Australia and some from Broadford down in um, Victoria. So this one's from Beefer. Uh, it's his Jedi Juice clone and, and Lemo. This is his Jedi Juice clone. And we've also got an original tryout as well. So, got Park Owe over here today to give me a hand, and I've rustled up six beer glasses, the old Foster Special, if you remember that rubbish. Um, so, what we're going to do is pour them out. Looking forward to it. And, um, and see how close they got to the original. So I'm just going to read out the original. It's 7.1%. Uh, um, it uses Nelson, Nelson Sobin, Citra, Mosaic, and Rewalker for that diesel hit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so from what I got from get, from Beavers, he's bitted with Cascade, um, Citra, Mosaic, Nelson, Late, and the same in the dry hop. And Lemo, he's bitted with Herzbrucker, Mosaic and Citra in the Whirlpool, and Nelson Citra, a three day dry hop, and he's used Nottingham. And Beef has used uh, London, sorry, 1318 London 3 Ale Yeast. Anyway, so <clears throat> let's not fuck around and get stuck into it. Do you want to pour Lemos? So yeah, you can pour Lemos. Last two. Yep, so Lemos, Beefers, Original. It's um, a bit of a treat getting beer mail sent to you. Mm. And been a bit slack at getting this uh, tasting video up, but appreciate the, uh, appreciate be getting sent to me and also um, appreciate Parco coming around to help me out because uh, these big big brown bombers at 750 I don't know if I could um, oh when we go nail um, <clears throat> yeah all this on my own so I needed a bit of a backup oops may have had a couple first now this is a Jedi juice from Hop Nation Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Got a bit left over there as well. Um, which one first? Which one first there, Parko? Which one you reckon? I think we should we should get a bit of a nose on the yeah um, on, the on the original, and then we'll go along and sniff it like Phil's asses. Cheers, Tim. Good on you, mate. Good seeing you. Cheers. Yeah, she's uh, not as uh, strong as I thought it would be. But it's still got a bit on the nose yeah, there. Yeah, I reckon there's a bit of a rewaka. There's a thing. Rewaka. It's alright. It's alright. No, that's a rewaka. The Kiwi purists. Um, <laughs> I love the rewaka. There's a bit there. There is. Now, this is Beefers. This is um, a different colour. I don't know if you mm. can see that and compare those two. Teeny tiny bit darker. A bit darker. Very similar on the nose. Mm. It doesn't have the diesel hit. No. More citrus and uh, mosaic coming through there. I think the mosaic's definitely shining through that. Can't get wrong with mosaic. No, definitely not. And this is lemonades or lemos. He's uh, I'm holding up beefers. Right. That's the original, which is probably pretty, pretty close. close. I think pretty, pretty close. close. Yeah. Um, He's got the rewalker. I think he's yeah. No, not rewalker. It's more something. Maybe it's a her Herzbrocker or something. I don't, I don't know. It's different anyway. It is. It is a little different. Not in a good. Not in a bad different, but different. Mm. Oh, man, it's getting flowers here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to definitely trying these. Okay, mate. So which one you want to dive in first? Oh, why, why don't we go beef a lemo and then the pilot. We'll end the original. Do it. Alright. So, cheers. Okay. Cheers, mate. Cheers. 
Remember to move the taste. It's good. It's good. It's good. Obviously, I'm not a BJCP <coughs> certified judge or a Cicerone or anything like that, but mm. uh, I know a good beer when I taste one, and this one's pretty good. So. It's very nice. Very clean. Clean. It's, um, it's hazy, which it's supposed to be. Yep. Quite hazy. Probably the most hazy out of all of them. Yep. Um, but they are quite cold. I'm not sure if that chill haze is something to contribute to that. But very nice beer. Do we know what the ABVs were on no. these ones? No. I just got Jedi. And this one. If the original 7.1, I guess that's a good basis. Yeah, so maybe Limo and um, Beefer, if you want to chuck comments in the um, <coughs> just in the co <laughs> the comments and put it in what what um, the ABVs were. But if it's very um, sorry, if it's then I'll start to start. <laughs> if it's uh, around the 7.1 mark, it's still very easy drinking. You wouldn't know it's 7.1. No, because it normally with a head full of alcohol, you'd be you know big. You know, warm puddles in the face <laughs> straight away. Yeah. Whereas you could easily see yourself drinking about oh. four or five of these without a problem. Oh. Top them up, eh? Yeah. Oh, great stuff. It's um, a good, good example. Beef up, well done, mate. Mm. Oh, there's no off after flavours with that one. Certainly no flaws in it. That's Very sure. easy drinking. And uh, well carbonated too. <coughs> and it's a big, thick, thick head on that one. Yeah, good big thick head. It's um, a big, yeah, nice, lovely, absolutely spot on. Totally. You can see the uh, original or the client, the commercial ver version there. It's, yep. It's um, thin little. Dissipated. Thin little bird lips. <laughs> and Cheers. Let's move on to uh, lemonades. Lemonades. Lemos. Uh, I'd be having to brew either of these at the moment. Yeah, so this one's probably... It's different. I'm not sure exactly which different, but different. I think it's... um, It's got... I can tell it. I, I think it's a Nelson, which which is different. Totally. Um, now, the Nelson's coming through as a bit of a whiny... Mm. Whiny... Or white wine or crushed grapes sort of... Mm. That type, type of um, smell. But anyway, cheers, Lemo. I'm going to... Get stuck into this bad boy. Cheers, Lynn. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot different to taste. Mm. Not bad, but different. Like, I would consider them two different beers to myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's a Nelson which is which is doing that. This is not bad by any means. It's still a bloody nice beer. Yeah. But it's different. Be interesting when we get to the commercial and see what. Uh, I wonder if the the yeast has something to do with that. Possibly, quite possibly. He's used Nottingham yeast, yeah, uh, lemon, and because um, my experience with Nottingham is that it's always promoted um, late edition hops, especially dry hops. Right. Yep. Um, I've never used uh, thirteen eighteen before, but um, and I'm I'm still very happy to drink this for sure. Pardon me. Um, same. I've I've never oh. used thirteen eighteen or it's. Or Nottingham. It's a really nice aroma on that one. Really nice. But, um, I mean, if you like Nelson, you'll like this. Well, you probably won't get a chance to drink it. But <laughs> I like Nelson and I definitely like this. But to compare the beers, uh, they're quite different. Um, um, if I had to pick one, oh, geez. Uh, I'd flip a coin. Yeah, it's, it's like that, isn't it? You'd... It's like straight down the line. If someone said to me, Lamo's beer or beef is beer. I'd be happy to have either one of them. And that's not saying that just because we're reviewing the beers. Very both. Both very. Very good. Clean, um, well aromaed, and yeah, I'd be very happy to drink these. Well, that's quite handy because we're going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, you know, <clears throat> once again, if these beers are any close to the 7% ABV, it's very, you wouldn't tell. You can't tell. They could get you into trouble quite they, easily. They, you definitely had five of these within five. half an hour. Yeah. Excuse me. So we'll go on to the, um, 
the commercial, and as I say, the commercial does use rewalker. And for my notes here, Beefa and Lemo both haven't used rewalker, and I can understand why. Um, <clears throat> Huge hit. Yeah, it's still, still quite distillate. Yeah, quite the. Uh, cheers. cheers. What's the chances of a bloke living in London, living in Brisbane on his own, having six different? Exact same beer glasses. It's a bloody good day. That, that's to do a three way tasting with another dude. So, cheers. Mm. While that diesel thing is still happening at the front there on the nose, it's still just a lovely drink. It is. It's a lovely beer. It's awesome. I would say that. Um, <clears throat> I would say that they're close. Close? Would you say close? I would say that they're pretty close. Yeah. Like, clearly, you, the Jedi doesn't give you the use they use. Mm. They've used a London Ale use and a Nottingham use. Mm. They haven't used the Rewalker, they've used the other hops. Yep. Um, Lemo's used the the Nelson, um, which which is which dominates, in my opinion. Yep. Um, Beefus is probably... Be interesting to find out the grain bill too, because it's trying to be darker. Yeah, so Gash put the recipe together on um, on his channel, and this is what prompted this uh, GI juice brewing extravaganza. Um, <coughs> I quite like beefers actually. <laughs> I quite like it. I don't know about you, Parker, but this one's um, is doing it for me. I'm uh, gonna taste lemos when I get. Suspense. Suspense. Insert suspense uh, music here. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. Um, <clears throat> I can't make a decision. They're quite hoppy, and it does sort of mute your, <clears throat> mute your um, ability to distinguish between. Mm. For me, anyway. Just come off night shift, and um, probably talking rubbish here, but that's uh, <clears throat> just nothing normal. Unusual. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's um, that's good. So, but I think two clean varieties. Um, the hop additions do uh, stand out a tiny bit mm -hmm. in regards to you know what the end results are. But at the same time, if these two beers were on tap, I'd be happy to have either one of them. Yeah, same. I would. Um, <clears throat> I would um, definitely if, if this got poured. At the pub, say the Pado, for instance, <laughs> um, and Parko walked back and put this in front of me, I would not be disappointed. I'd be like, wow, let's get another one of those on both of these as well. Um, that's my opinion. Um, anyway, what else we got to talk about? So, if you haven't. Um, Checked out House Park Brewing. I'll leave a description in the thing to it to, to Parko's channel. Cheers, Tim. Tune, tune in and, and um, check out some of his extraordinary brewing extravaganzas. He's uh, put I've together. I've got two beers um, that I just kegged today, and I'll probably do a tasting video tomorrow. Probably not tonight because um, <laughs> not too sure what time we'll get home tonight. But um, yeah, I've got an Oktoberfest and a uh, Mountain Goat Red IPA climb to look forward to. So um, yeah, really excited. Um, my brew house efficiency has uh, <laughs> gone up a little bit. I think just chewed on my tongue a little bit there. Yeah. Um, so it's only gone up marginally, but 68 to 70%. But um, no, really, really um, happy with my brewing at the moment. Installed a thermo well to the mash tun the other day, so um, yeah, excellent. That's it's good. That's what it's all about, just making little yep. improvements. Personally, we've um, <coughs> pardon me, edit that bit out. Um, we've been I've been on a bit of a brewing hiatus. Uh, we've sold our house. Everything my brew systems in in pieces in boxes in storage and. Um, YouTube 
front has been a little bit slow. I haven't done a video in a while, but um, try and ramp that up maybe next year. I don't know how I'm gonna get, uh, don't, know what, don't know what the rest of the year holds out, but hopefully you buy another house soon. Um, put, <laughs> I know what's gonna happen, we'll buy a house and it'll be putting furniture and beds together and the brewing will come second to that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and the YouTube will come third to even that. So but once I do, we'll get set up, sold the house on a, a uh, premise that we get a bigger house, ticks out all the boxes for all the family and we can, um, Excuse me. we can, uh, yeah, we can all be much happier. So there's a bit of a uh, man cave brew set up in there, but obviously it depends on the house and which, um, which way it goes. So I'll, uh, I'll do some updates as, as they uh, come along, but at this stage it's been pretty hectic. The whole household and life and in general working away, doing, uh, Doing shift work and night shift, it's, um, it's, 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 it's a challenge to get anything done. So anyway, that's why I appreciate Paco coming over for this beer tasting. And um, <clears throat> we'll probably, uh, unless she's anything else you want to talk about, Paco? To... Um, oh, mate, jeez. Um, finals footy, <laughs> you know, AFL. AFL. Um, you know, Tigers are obviously in there. Tigers uh, are in there. Bombers are out, unfortunately. Um, oh mate, look, I, I just like to, you know, celebrate um, how much it's a good opportunity to meet up with friends. You yeah. don't often have, have to meet up with, sorry, don't have to, but you meet up with friends that you don't often have the chance to. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, last time I saw you was at the Brisbane Airport. And um, yeah, it was on different circumstances. But um, th these, these days, I just appreciate... Um, friendship and man on a, an opportunity like this I wouldn't say no and thank you very much all right cheers cheers mate so and um, is it coming up to November we're trying to get the guys to work a few of us on a shift that we, we might be doing November again um, just to just to um, <clears throat> you know just to bring up that that chat about you know, are you okay and mm. and uh, mental health and men's well-being, prostate, etc. So anyway, keep an eye out for that. Don't see me with a big bushy grey moustache. So that probably extended that to me as well. If, if anyone comes across my channel um, and they want to have a chat about anything, it's 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 open. Nothing's off the limit. You know, we're all friends here, so we're brewers, we're mates. I'm sure everyone out there loves sport of some kind so man life is all about life and when you know each other get amongst it absolutely all right well, let's wrap this uh this up and we'll sit here and nail these and probably head down the pub and have some dinner i wish i had three hands <laughs> i'm trying to do that <laughs> i'm not i'm not there yet i'm not there yet not far from it but um, yeah anyway, right good yeah. experience thank you very much cheers thanks cheers, cheers. Dilemma. Thanks. Have a good one.